They would instantly talk about the Shetards, because that is everyone's example of a perfect life, or a perfect family. What's going on guys, and welcome back to Top CV, where today, we're gonna be talking about how Shay Carl or the Shetards ruined their career. Jay Carl messed up so bad. He messed up his social life and his YouTube career and his family life. Like, he has no way of recovering this without like severe therapy or anything in that direction. But before we get into today's video, I just want to say that the giveaway is still up and running. I have not forgot about it. All you have to do is subscribe down below, turn on those notifications, and don't forget to like the video. And comment down below why you should win. And just for the record, all the other giveaways have ended. I've announced the giveaway winner in other videos. So if you think that you've won in other giveaways, not including this one, go check my other videos on my channel. And the more comments you post on different videos with the newest giveaway, meaning this giveaway, you'll have a bigger chance of winning. So if there are like three videos, with this giveaway currently on it, comment on each video and you'll have a bigger chance of winning. So back to what this video is really about. Around eight months ago when the Shakeyards quit YouTube, they said they had to give the kids some time to relax or to get back into normal life because they were being born into this huge YouTube life. The Shaytards are one of the OGs of YouTube. Like they've been vlogging or doing this vlogging family thing ever since this platform has existed. Like they're one of the OG YouTubers on the site. But they took a break and they said that they had to give the kids some time and some space to relax and kind of like get back into their normal life routine because they had to be putting on a show every time the camera was on which was understandable like for kids to have to do that every single day is kind of pressurizing like the kids feel like they have to they have to deliver or they have to live up to their expectations of their viewers but if that gets too much then the parents have to shut down the YouTube channel for a period of time or forever it depends on how serious the situation is with the kids and with the family and about two or three months into this whole leaving the YouTube scene situation shake Carl started texting this YouTube or social media sensation weird texts like kinky texts almost like like sexual texts and when this girl mentioned Gavin Shay Carl's youngest son Shay Carl got really defensive so basically what the girl said was oh my god Gavin's so cute I want him for my own but what Shay Carl probably didn't realize is that that's normal for a girl to say like a lot of girls say oh my god your kid's so cute I want him for my own of course someone will get offended or like defensive if the woman that says that is only like his mistress or like his sex object almost. Do you get what I'm saying? Because Shay Carl only texted her for like sexual or erotic arousement, if that makes sense. I mean, here are the screenshots of their texts. Like she leaked them a few months into this whole situation and it got really serious and really rough for Shay Carl. Now, anyone in their right mind would not release this because Shay Carl is a really big role model for a lot of people on the world who watch YouTube or who watch the Shaytards specifically. But she said that she had to release this because he was getting really weird with her or like mean and not really treating her like a real gentleman would treat a woman. But this absolutely ruined his life. Like YouTube, social life, family life, everything was kind of on an edge and was on a verge of collapsing. He turned back to alcohol and a lot of conspiracy theories theories are saying that Shay Carl was actually under the influence of alcohol or drugs at the time of texting this woman because a lot of these texts were at 3 a.m. at night and which guy who has a perfect life meaning that he has a perfect family a beautiful wife a big house and a lot of money texts this random girl or random social media star for sexual arousement like it just does not make sense at all and the worst thing is that no one really knows what is happening like because of them quitting YouTube no one knows what the situation exactly is and no one knows what it's gonna evolve into like Chloet posted a video about two weeks ago about letting a dream die so a lot of people are saying now that the Shaytards is over like there are no more Shaytards they're not gonna come back because of this problem but she said that they're working on their problems that being their social problems like putting their family back together and Shay Call getting the hang of his alcohol problem which is coming back Chloet also said a really like inspiring or true to life Life comment in her video which was nothing is ever perfect people are not born to be perfect but to be themselves and that is so true like it always seems to us that Shay Carl or the Shaytards have a perfect life and are a perfect family but in fact nothing is ever perfect in life 
which obviously sucks because everyone who watched them or who watched YouTube saw them as a real big role model for a perfect life. Like, if you talked about a perfect life with someone who also watched YouTube, they would instantly talk about the Shaytards because that is everyone's example of a perfect life or a perfect family. Anyway guys, that concludes today's video on how Shay Carl ruined his career or the Shaytards quitting YouTube. For what reason? Who knows? Be sure to subscribe down below, turn on those notifications, and don't forget to like the video. And check out these two videos on my channel right here. And after doing all that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.